So hello everyone, I'm Sabrina, Managing Editor from Financial IT, and today we're having a conversation about Rely, its mission, about Bitcoins, and the latest trends in this landscape. So for a start, can you please briefly tell us about yourself and your company's mission? Sure. Hi, Sabrina. Thank you very much for having me. My name is uh, Julian Liniger. I'm 29 years old or young. Uh, I'm a Swiss serial uh, young entrepreneur. Uh, so this is my third company I have founded in the fintech and especially in the crypto and Bitcoin space. Uh, so I'm into Bitcoin since 2015 when I was still studying. I studied business administration and psychology, um, spent some time in Silicon Valley and always wanted to be an entrepreneur basically. And uh, very early on, I got in touch with Bitcoin, I said, in like 2015, so seven years ago, this feels like uh, it's probably like half of the time that Bitcoin has been around. Um, and uh, now this uh, startup uh, that is my third company is really focusing on making Bitcoin as easy as possible for everyone uh, to invest. Uh, as you know, this is the year of 2022 when fintechs are growing and expanding rapidly. And the uh, cryptosphere is not an exception. New trends keep coming and going. And what are the latest trends in crypto landscape, in your opinion? Yeah, so in crypto in general, there are a lot of trends that are coming and going. You know, in 2017, we had this ICO bubble, uh, initial coin offerings, and then uh, there was DeFi coming around. Uh, the latest trend, I would say, is probably NFTs. So NFTs, non-fungible tokens, a very um, hot topic. But these topics kind of come and go. What stays is really Bitcoin as this digital gold, this store of value of the 21st century, and this uh, independent you know, digital uh, store of value and alternative to the traditional financial system. So for us, this is really the main uh, revolution that is happening over decades now as the internet emerged you know in the 80s this is now basically the time where a new kind of uh, financial system is emerging and that's why we solely focus uh, on bitcoin and within bitcoin um, i think the latest trends uh, is really uh, institutional and even uh, country uh, countries uh, adopting Bitcoin. So big institutional investors, you know, in, in investment banks like Go uh, Goldman um, Sachs or uh, JP Morgan getting into Bitcoin, even BlackRock, the biggest um, asset manager in the world is getting into Bitcoin. Um, there are uh, top 500 uh, companies like Tesla buying uh, Bitcoin and putting it on their treasury. And then even uh, countries now um, like uh, the uh, Republic Central Africa, uh, which is the latest uh, country adopting Bitcoin, um, as well as El Salvador uh, a bit earlier. So really like these big players um, getting into Bitcoin now, which is really exciting to see. So there will be more opportunities in the future in the market, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. We're only just uh, starting, you know, it's uh, I, I compare it to uh, when the internet started, it's basically uh, 1998 right now. So right before uh, the internet really uh, has been grown to what it is uh, now. So I think in the next 20 years, we will really see a lot of um, uh, groundbreaking uh, and revolutionizing developments in the Bitcoin and crypto space. As you know, funding and investment is a crucial part of business development. Can you briefly explain how funding helped your business grow? Yes, absolutely. Um, so there, there are different cases, but most uh, startup cases in the fintech space really require a lot of funding because they require a big size. Um, so are we. So we, we cannot really uh, compete to um, other players uh, if we stay small and like uh, bootstrap our way uh, in decades, you know, to success, because others will be founded, uh, funded uh, big time, and then they will uh, basically surpass us. So that's why we have always, from the beginning, taken the approach of. Uh, trying to get as much uh, venture capital as possible to grow as fast as possible. So within the last uh, two years, actually today is our anniversary. So uh, exactly two years ago, 1st of June, 2020, we launched this app 
And since then, we raised uh, a total of uh, more than 5 million from venture capital and angel investors um, and uh, used it to uh, really grow to what we are now. We are now a team of 20 full-time employees. Uh, we have um, more than 100K app downloads and 30K uh, active users in 40 different uh, countries in Europe. We have our own broker license and we are growing like 10 to 20% month over month. We have a volume of uh, around 8 million uh, per month uh, that we are processing. So 8 million in Euro are investing invested into bitcoin and so mainly the the fund funds that we uh, raise we use it to um, uh, get the licenses we need to build the product further and further new features um, and mainly also to really grow uh, the community you know there's a lot of marketing uh, budget as well that we are investing yes but uh, you know bitcoin is still complicated for most of the users but how can your platform fix this problem for users? Absolutely. This is the core uh, problem that we wanted to solve with our solution. Um, so as said, I was in uh, to Bitcoin early on and a lot of people who were not yet, they wanted to get into Bitcoin. They asked me uh, what an easy solution would be. And there was really nothing that made it uh, easy enough for kind of people on the street, quote unquote, who were not into tech and not into finance uh, to buy their first Bitcoin. So that's exactly the solution we wanted to build. Now with our app, um, which is really the easiest way for normal people to get into Bitcoin, um, you can just download the app and within one minute from 10 bucks already with your own bank account, without setting up new accounts or um, red getting registered. Uh, you don't even have to upload any documents or give us your name and address, whatever. Within one minute, you can start buying your first Bitcoin. Uh, so with us, you can buy, also sell, and set up a uh, recurring automatic savings plan. And you also get directly uh, your own self-hosted wallet within the app uh, so without doing anything you are uh, really onboarded and uh, enabled to hold your own bitcoin receive send and pay with your bitcoin so everything you want basically to do with bitcoin you can do it with one simple um, and user-friendly app made in switzerland I was checking the Bitcoin rate just before our interview and you know it was very fluctuating this year and now it is slightly more than $31,000 per one Bitcoin and is it the right time to invest because it's comparatively low can we invest right now? So that's obviously always the, the tricky question, right? And I really cannot see into the future, so I can't give any uh, financial advice to anyone out there. But from my experience, no, when I got in, uh, the uh, one Bitcoin was 500 bucks. Um, and now the last high was at uh, 67K, I think. Um, so in the last seven years, it really went uh, up uh, something between 150 and 200% every year in, on average. So it's a long-term game and it always has you know, ups and downs. So in 2017, the, the last high was like 20K and then right when Corona hit, it was 4K again, which would have been an amazing uh, entry uh, point, you know, um, but a lot of people missed it. So it went up to uh, 67K, which was the, the last high uh, now, like half a year ago. Um, and now it's back down more than 50% down uh, on, uh, you know, 30K. And uh, if we expect a new high, which might be 60 a, uh, 68 or even 100k then obviously right now would be a great um, time to buy so the future is for crypto absolutely i think so um crypto and bitcoin uh, specifically is really here to stay and especially if you look at um, generation young generation like uh, millennials uh, and generation z um you know between 70 and 90% of them say they are interested in investing in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. They don't really have a lot of money now yet, but in 10 to 20 years, uh, these are the generations that will inherit and earn and control you know, the, the majority of the money in the world. Um, so they will um, 
be in management managing positions of uh, big investment companies they will inherit a lot of money they will be the millionaires and billionaires in 10 to 20 years and they are saying they will invest a lot of this money in bitcoin and as bitcoin is scarce you know there's only 21 uh, million bitcoin ever uh, in existence uh, so the supply is fixed the demand from younger generation is growing over the next decade and um, then it's basically uh, for me a very clear uh, sign that the bitcoin price will also increase dramatically over, over the long run you know on the short run it's always volatile it's always going to be volatile but on the long run um, it's definitely uh, definitely the future belongs to crypto and bitcoin specifically I see. So the last question I have today is, what are your future plans for the company? What is next for Relay? Oh yeah, we have a lot of, on our plate. So we are already now um, the easiest way how you can get into Bitcoin in Europe. But we want to make it even easier and faster in the future to uh, buy your first Bitcoin. So for example, we will add additional payment methods so soon you will always be able to also be able to pay your uh, Bitcoin with uh, instant SEPA. So within five minutes, uh, you can not only buy, but also pay and receive your Bitcoin. And with uh, other payment methods that are very popular in Europe, like uh, credit cards and PayPal, for example, which makes it even easier uh, to buy your first Bitcoin. And also fast, because right now you have to uh, by via bank transfer, which can take one or two days until uh, the money is uh, you know settled and you get your Bitcoin. With these instant payment uh, methods, uh, it will be like instant. So within a couple of minutes, you will be able to uh, download the app, buy your Bitcoin, pay your Bitcoin, and get your Bitcoin into your um, non-custodial wallet. So this is really a world's first that uh, has never been has never been there. We're very close uh, to um, to implementing launching this. Certainly, uh, this year this will come. And then uh, after that, we really want to make Bitcoin savings even easier and more automatically, seamlessly integrated in people's daily lives. Um, with features like, for example, um, a, a possibility to deposit your Bitcoin and get an interest rate paid out. Um, so. Uh, we're looking at around 2% uh, interest that you will be able to earn from depositing your Bitcoin. And also our um, Relay debit card, uh, where you can you will be able to pay with fiat or Bitcoin and receive a Bitcoin cashback. So you, for whatever you will buy, you will get a 1% cashback on your Bitcoin. So basically, in whatever you do in your uh, life, you should be able to save a little bit of Bitcoin. Uh, users from every part of the world can have access to your app, right? Currently, we are focusing on Europe only. So we are active in 40 different countries in Europe. Um, our main markets are Germany, Switzerland and Austria, uh, but also the other bigger countries uh, like Spain, France and Italy have a first and growing uh, user bases uh, of like thousands of Relay users. Um, and our app is also available in all these five different languages. So English, German, but also Italian, Fr uh, French and Spain. Next year, so this year we will focus on growing uh, the Europe market further, penetrating the Europe market further. But then from next year on, we'll also expand to uh, other continents and countries all over the world. That's very quick. Impressive. Thank you. Yes, uh, exactly two years ago, we, we started with the first kind of launch of, uh, of the app. So it feels, uh, uh, it feels like a blink of the eye uh, two years ago. It's, it it happened, everything happened very fast. And we, we keep on um, you know, focusing on, on speed and execution because that's really what uh, uh, can help us to, to grow as fast as possible. Like for example, um, uh, Revolut, uh, the, the biggest neobank in Europe, uh, is is exactly as big as it is now because uh, speed and execution was always their main focus. It usually takes from five to ten years for other companies to grow like you. And now um, you have reached the same level in two years. That sounds very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. I asked all the questions I needed.